Well, well, well. Hey, hey, hey there, folks and fellow YouTubers. It's your best buddy here at Nuclear Scholarly 7. And in at least one of today's videos, I'll be doing another gaming video for Dusk HD. This is a 100% walkthrough of the game. Played through Steam on the Cerro Miedo difficulty setting. Hopefully I was pronouncing the name of that difficulty setting right. Anyhow, the name of the level we'll be on today is Episode 1, Mission 3, Old Time Religion. And this is thus far at least my favorite map in the entire game. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and press any key to enter the horror. So I'm gonna pull out this super shotgun because I'm gonna grab this normal one just to get ammo in the shotgun. Now I would go ahead and go into the chapel now except it requires a yellow key. Luckily for us, I know where it is we need to go. So I'm gonna turn to my right all the way over to the cemetery here because one of these cemeteries one of these gravestones, I should say, has a f switch we need to flip by pressing E on the keyboard. And then we go there not only to grab the yellow key, but we go down here to explore our first secret area. Now watch out, because to our left and right of this doorway here is a mage. So take them out quickly. Okay, so we've done everything we've needed to do here thus far, so we're going to go back up to the surface. I've now got the yellow keys, you can tell. Now watch out for a mob of mages awaiting your arrival, though. So let's see. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. Oh, yeah. Now, unfortunately, there's a biohazard barrel here, but I blew it up on accident while fighting these mages. Luckily for us, we do have a gas tank, or gas can, as it's called. Because you'll notice how this hole in the floor is barricaded with wooden pillars over it. Well, all we gotta do is pick up the gas can. Now you can use either the biohazard barrel or the gas can to blow it up. But since I destroyed the biohazard barrel in the fight with these mages, I'll use this one. Then toss it over there. Voila. Okay, so press F to use your flashlight. Now you will notice there will be another gas can around the corner. And we will use that as well. We're going to lift it up, pressing the E button on the keyboard, because notice that crack in the wall there. So I'm going to get a good distance from it and toss it. Because we're already on our second secret area of this entire map. Pretty easy map once you, you at least get the hang of it. So I'm going to pull out my assault rifle, because there will be a rat awaiting our rifle here. And he is one with the universe. Now here is one biohazard barrel we can use. So I'm just gonna get that thing out of the way. So I'm gonna place it over this barricaded entrance here, and I'm gonna shoot it. So that way it could blow it open for us. Now I'm gonna switch to the dark claw for the time being. You well rested. You feel well rested. Now watch out for a mob of rats that come your way here. So what I like to do is get over back into this room till all of them are gone. Well, no, they got stuck, but they did. All right. Now there will be both a rat to your right here, as we'd seen, as well as a mage to our left. Didn't expect those other ones to be there still. Ah, they got me, little punk. Okay, so I believe we've got them all. I'll just go ahead and take care of you now so I don't have to worry about you later. Hmm, guess it blew up already. There was a gas can here, I guess. I blew it up, or someone did, who knows. Now luckily, we can use one of our explosive weapons to get access to a secret area here. Just use the riveter and... Voila. And this is another mandatory secret area because we will need it to grab one of the color-coded keys in this map. Okay, so we're gonna go back to where we once came from. Ah, I just love the music in this map. It's relaxing, I think. Believer, heretic. Oh, yeah. 
So there's an enemies there, but we will find a way to get there, and you'll see how we do that. First, we've got another secret area to find, and it's this one here. Just watch out for that rat awaiting your arrival. We've got only one more secret area to find before we're done with them all. This is the red key. So I'm going to get my riveter ready, because awaiting our arrival on the other side of this blue key door is not one, but two mages. And they are both ones with the universe. Yeah, they are dead as a doornail. Yeah, usually there's a rat right there. Now notice this pile of dirt here. We can actually go through it. And this is our fifth and last secret area of the entire map. All right. Now I will go over here where it says we traded God for demons in a little bit. But first, we've got a few other areas of this map we need to explore before we do just that. So I'm going to go up here, up this ladder, pull out my Dark Claw again. Nope, we're just back to where we were, my bad. So we go up here. Now watch out for several Black Phillips that will be awaiting our arrival once we get back up to the surface. You know, those demon moose enemies. Ah, couldn't get him. So we killed them all with the Dark Claws, it's called. Go ahead and blow these things up just so they're not a problem. Which I don't think they will be, but better safe than sorry. Let's grab that pistol clip there. Whoa, and watch out for a possessed scarecrow awaiting your arrival. I blasted him to hay. Whoa! He's dead as a doornail. So we've got this blue key door to explore. Watch out for several leather ducks awaiting your arrival, though. Okay. <clears throat> and yes, we grab another blue key, believe it or not. I know it's weird, but hey, it is what it is. Gonna use the assault rifle on these possessed scarecrows. At least one of them, anyway. Oh! They're fighting each other. Let's just let them fight each other. That'll be a good way to conserve a little ammunition. Until we have to fight this one. Ah, I got the little punk. <sighs> so we'll go down there in a bit, but we've got somewhere else to, we need to go to first, and you'll see what that is. Press this. Oh, yeah. So, yes, this is an area where we fight some more mages. I'm gonna flick the switch here. There'll be not one, but two other mages here as well. Then you will notice this bungee jump thing. We'll just jump on, step on it, and it takes us up here. So this is another area I don't think we've been to yet. Or we have, but we have a few enemies we need to take out that we haven't. As of yet. And you will see who those guys are. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. Oh, yeah. All right, so we've done everything we've needed to do here. Be sure to come here to grab ammo for your assault rifle, if you should need it. Okay, so now we will go here to this area. I'm going to go ahead and ready a Dark Claw because we will be met by a mage here. Oh, yeah! I just love how that blasts him to a bloody mist. Blood. And he is one with the universe. Yeah. So this gentleman here soon as well. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this hollowed health, as it's called. Heretic. There you are. I knew you were here somewhere. Oh, yeah. Heretic. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get my Riveter ready because there will be a boss battle here in Souls. We'll be needing to fight. Ah, we killed him. My pet. You pay for that. Okay, so we've killed all the enemies in this map. Not only that, we've found all the secret areas. Yeah, because I can. Right? We've got nothing else to do in this map now that we've A, found all the secret areas, B, killed all the enemies. Okay, so we gotta flip a switch in order to open this door. Press E on the keyboard and it takes a moment for it to lower it down, but it gets there. And then we go to this opening in the wall to our left. And to the door here. End level. Old time religion, level complete. Kills, 59 out of 59. Secrets, five out of five. So yes, that was episode one, mission three, old time religion. Like I said at the start of this level, it's already one of my favorite maps of this entire game. And like any level, it gets pretty easy, you know, once you kind of get the lay of the land and the level, even if it takes quite a few tries to do so, which it more or less did with me. So yes, this is a very fun level. I made so well there folks I shall go ahead and end the video here and remember if you like this video please fire and aim a dark claw at that like button below and if you want to see more of my videos please aim and fire a, the super shotgun at the subscribes button below and the next video we will be on episode one mission four steamworks but that will be in the next video the next time I play this game until then though I am nuclear scaldy seven you all have an excellent and wonderful rest of your day. Amen.